Well, Queens-based Aster Apiary doesn't just take care of bees around the city. It also sells its own fresh local New York honey. Michelle Castillo is on the scene to get a taste. Hey, Kristen. So, yes, I'm back here with Nick Hefley. He's the owner of Aster Apiary. So, Nick, we went to the hives earlier and now we're going to sample the honey. But let's start with something simple. What is honey actually? Yeah, so honey is actually just a sugary substance that flowers produce to encourage pollinators to come by. Uh, they get pollinated and the pollinators get a little treat to either take back home or to eat right there on the spot. For the honeybees, they're taking it all back to the hive and storing it. So, you know, you have your own New York City honey. What, so when I understand it, you know, everyone knows that honey's sweet, but other things around can influence the flavor. So can you tell me a little bit more about that process? Sure, so honey is a whole spectrum of flavors and colors. Our honey tends to be more uh, orange and yellow. It's very uh, bright in flavor, and this is all due to the majority of it coming from linden trees. So okay. this is very much a linden honey. However, there's lots of other decorative flowers out there that end up uh, in this. So we would call it a wildflower honey. Let's try some. Can Absolutely. you tell me a little bit about the flavors of linden trees? Well, uh, a lot of people who try this uh, sense a little citrus, mm -hmm. um, which is interesting. And then the really cool mm, thing I, I like about citrus. this, yeah, uh, is it's got kind of a cooling minty aftertaste, which is really nice. So you have another kind of honey here. This one looks a little more solid. What's the difference? So both of these are raw honeys. Uh, this just happens to be a honey that's crystallized a bit more. Okay. And is crystallization, it older or? crystallization is just a, a characteristic of raw honey. Mm -hmm. uh, all honey will crystallize over time. Typically processed honey does not crystallize. So they filter out a lot of the things that cause those crystals. So yeah, this has less citrus. I would say it's more of a caramelly taste. It is, it is, and it's a nice, Thick, subs, uh, thick texture to it, for sure. So as I understand it, Bees uh, Knees Week is coming up. What is that and how does it help the honeybees which are endangered right now, if I understand? Yeah, so my friends at Bar Hill, which is where this honey is from, uh, they do this great initiative every September called Bees Knees Week. Um, it's all about uh, putting ha pollinator habitat back into nature. So uh, when during the week of uh, September 22nd to October 1st, if you go to a bar, take a picture of uh, your Bees Knees cocktail and hashtag it with Bees Knees Week, Bar Hill is going to plant 10 square feet for every post. So this can be a lot of square footage, a lot of acreage, uh, depending on how many posts are out there. You know, you have some of this Bar Hill product. Now, if I understand, this is the gin. Let's sample some of that. And it has, it's infused with honey, as I understand? It is. Um, they actually finish this gin with honey. Uh, raw honey that we just sampled right now. And uh, it's a very, very uh, smooth gin. It's just like you get all the nice nuances of the honey, uh, but just from it, also with an excellent gin. Oh, let so. me try it. You know, it's very smooth and you definitely get the sweet aftertaste. Absolutely. Uh, this is one of my favorite gins for sure. And they also do a Tomcat gin. This is a little bit more of a whiskey taste. It is, this one is barrel aged. So that's why you get that beautiful amber color. And uh, for people who like whiskey and maybe not so much gin, this is really a great crossover to uh, kind of get yourself into the gin world. Well, we're going to stay here and hang out with the bees, the, as I understand, the female bees back in those hives. But if you want to try some honey for yourself, definitely check out Astro Apiaries. Back to you in the studio. Amazing, Michelle. Looks delicious. I'm Michelle Castillo on the ground there. And you can go to barhill.com to find out more about Bees Knees Week.